In our Singapore bus enthusiast community, one activity we love to do is joyride buses. However, it's not just about joyriding. From learning about the history of past bus routes to passing by its local landmark and unique bus routes, and to get to know more about particular bus services. Welcome to Discovery Buses in Singapore. In this is episode of Discovery Buses in Singapore, here we will showcase you the worst modified bus service as chosen by our fellow bus enthusiasts in Singapore. Since 2019, bus services were introduced with modification from its parent bus service. Instead of into a new bus service as independent, modified bus service will combine its revenue money mixed with parent bus service. However, there are some modified bus services that we feel quite useless. Which are the three? Let's go! Let's start with the weekday peak hour service 117M. Introduced in November 2021, service 117M travels via Seleta Aerospace Link and Seleta Aerospace Drive. Operate on weekday speed hour in both directions, service 117 will not be in operation when service 117M is in operation. Now, why do we feel that service 117M is the worst? That's because we have service 103 instead since we have two bus services travelling via its stretch of Seleta Aerospace. So why not make service 117 a mess to Seleta Aerospace Link and Drive while letting service 103 remain on the other way around? Next stop in the far west of Singapore, which the enemy couldn't afford to travel there, service 248M. Two months before service 117M, service 248M were introduced as a daily supplementary bus service that operates during morning and evening peak hours. The purpose of service 248M is to serve bus port. So, you might think of an additional bus stop as a modified bus service. Why not extend its route further? Last, the worst part of introducing a modified bus service, service 16M. We would have thought that the numeral 16M was revived after a merger as a midnight bus service to now define night hour 4M. Instead, the bus route was introduced a month before the circuit breaker 2 years ago where it served Bukit Mega Polyclinic. Yet it adjusted the bus service frequency of service 16 and 60M to make it more pattern like service 16, 60M, 16, 60M, and so on. You might wonder, why not the LTA extend service 16 to Bukit Mega Polyclinic instead? I mean, two pairs of bus stops saves the bus service deployment and its frequency is set or even reduced, right? We can tell that these bus services that the LTA introduced are quite useless after all. But how about service 181M and 182M during the pre bscp days? Leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching this episode of Discovery Buses in Singapore. Leave a like, comment, share and subscribe.